He needs two more to keep American hopes alive and keep that train rolling. Yeah, if he can take this match, they will really be putting some pressure on it. And I don't know if this is the gentleman that Earl's been speaking with. But Michaela Tab now aware of the situation. I'm sure she will keep it under control. But he's really got to put the blinders on, Jerry. Rack eight, USA to break, leading by four racks to three. The best of Earl is on the table, the worst off it. Well, does he? Yes, he does. He's finally got a shot on the opening ball. Half pocket, but it's there. He's missed that shot, and that has really frustrated him. Can't blame him. No, lifting his head, though. Came straight up as soon as he released the cue. He plays a lot of golf, Strickland, and he's a single-figure handicap golfer. He knows better than anyone. You've got to keep that head still. Darrell would like to have developed the five there. He clipped the four. He was trying to clip the seven. And there's no value in knocking this three in. So I just expect him to try and defend. And that's what he tried to do. Oh, and the cue ball just barely avoids falling in. Oh, I know. I'll let him do that all day. Now, Daryl, he knows Earl Strickland as well as Ralph Suke does. He's just got to ignore him. Earl hides behind the covers, but has it leaked out? It has. Earl not happy. But at least uh, Earl's grinning in his line, frustration please. today. Start the clock again. I don't think he can see enough to make it, though, Jerry. And that five over the bottom left corner right now, that's the insurance policy for whoever makes the first mistake here. Uh, yeah, this is an ugly warning, table. Though. You need to be quiet. And Michaela Tab has just warned Earl. Got that away just in time. And what is all that on the main result? They're going for the short stick. He's bringing them both to the table. Well, he can't use them both. Pure luck. You hear Strickland, pure luck. Well, he's had that to say. Reset the clock, please. Guys, you can't do that. And again, Michaela just, Earl's trying to, he's just trying to let his feelings be known, and it almost invites conversation. What a shot! What a shot from Earl Strickland. I've said it so many times. He is one of the only players in the world that can create that much tension in the arena and still perform at this level. And he can break the 5-7 out right here. He oh. didn't intend that. He wanted to hit the 7. He hit the wrong ball. I wonder if Earl's going to start endorsing the jump cue soon. <laughs> I doubt that. He would endorse having it made illegal. Now he's really got to work some magic. Ready to 
Spinning the cue up table, looking to hide behind the eight ball. I great, think he's there. Great imagination, though, Jerry, on two counts. One, the control of the cue ball, but also the way that he played that shot. He was always going to have the seven as a blocker. Even if he let Daryl see this five, it wasn't going to pass to the corner. Well, Daryl has his jump cue in hand. Uh, this cue I could tell from the logos made by one of the sponsors of this event, Predator. It's called the Predator Air. And Earl once again putting the long extension on the cue. This will this will take all six feet of them to reach this, even with the extension. Well, we have seen it all in this match. Every kind of twist and turn that a pool table can give you. And wow, some really great shots from both men. Just a few more from Strickland to this point. I think for me, it's been his safety play. He's made some great shots, but his safety play has been superlative. We're not used to seeing that from Earl. Flirting with that side pocket to get to the hill. Not that like one. That. Not that one. It wasn't him. It was somebody in the crowd on that one. All right. Okay. All to do is fight, just, guys. Let's just settle it down. Listen. Earl. This guy just wanted me to fight. Earl, come on, quick. I just need you to settle down. Right. Listen to me. Just listen to me for a second. You can't do that. Just listen to me. You can't grab me to fight. Listen to me for a second. Right? Daryl's just, just had Johan come in just and settle, settle him down. down. Michaela's trying to settle Earl down. It's heating up again. It's so hard not to take it personally. I mean, so many of Earl's comments are directed at Daryl. Eventually, they've got to get under his skin. Well, he's got so much talent, Jerry. I just wish he'd leave it on the table. One of the greatest players to ever wield a cue. I've been a fan of Earl Strickland's ever since the first time I saw him play. He's an enigma, but he walks such a fine Good. line. Chewie, come here, please. Earl. Daryl. Michaela Earl, is calling them out for a, a conference. Right. This game has got to be played in the sportsmanly way that it should be, right? One thing by either of you, because that was out of line, and it will be a foul. It will be interfering with your opponent. So let's just keep it straight. So go back to your corners. We want to have a clean fight. Trailing by five racks to three. Settle down, please. Well done, Michaela Tab. She's just grabbed this match. And controlled it now. And a dry break from Peach brings Strickland back. And the crowd rolling Strickland on. They this want the, to see more pool. This is the toughest shot of the table. If he makes the one and gets on the two, expect him to 